According to the United Nations, every year, more than 100 million women all around the world use oral contraceptive pills. Now, oral contraceptive pills are a kind of hormonal pills to help regulate hormones, and they are used for many, many different purposes. So in this video, we'll be sharing with you the four different effects of oral contraceptive pills have on your skin. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, help smash the subscribe button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm tremendously. So click on it in three, two, one, now. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inge, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix. In this particular video, we'll be sharing with you four different effects of oral contraceptive pills on your skin if you are actually taking them. So it means that in the next five to seven minutes, I'll be sharing with you different effects, the positive and the negative effects of taking oral contraceptive pills of or oral hormonal pills. Now, first up, according to the United Nations, more than 100 million women all around the world take oral contraceptive pills. And a lot of women take oral contraceptive pills, like the name suggests, to prevent pregnancy. But there's also a subset of women that actually take oral contraceptive pills to improve their skin's condition. So do all oral contraceptive pills help with your skin? Or is there any negative effects of taking these pills for long term? Now, the first effect of oral contraceptive pills or OCPs on your skin is that it helps regulate and helps treat acne. Now, in a lot of cases, acne is actually caused and triggered by a hormone called 5-DHT or 5-dihydrotestosterone. And there's a way to actually reduce 5-DHT is by regulating the hormones behind 5-DHT. So if you're suffering from acne-prone skin, you should start yourself on a hormonal pill that contains both estrogen and progestin. These two will help lower down the amount of circulating androgen hormones in your, in your body and in your blood, hence reducing amount of acne and sebum produced by your skin. However, do take note that you need to take a combination of estrogen and progestin pills. And there are a lot of progestin-only pills in the market, which actually makes your acne much worse. So if, you, so if you're unsure which hormone pills to take, please go and consult your doctor or please consult your nearest pharmacist because taking the wrong hormone pills can actually make your acne much worse. Now, the second effect of OCP on your skin, it actually triggers melasma. Estrogen and progesterone stimulates your melanocytes, which is the skin cell that produces melanin or hyperpigmentation. And the more estrogen and circulating progesterone in your body, the more melanin your skin is gonna produce. So by taking OCPs that contains both estrogen and progesterone, you're actually increasing the risk of getting melasma on your skin. So if you're someone that is always highly exposed to sunlight or someone above the age of 40, you might want to think twice when taking an OCP that contains both estrogen and progesterone. Hey guys, are you currently taking OCP or have taken OCPs in the past? Let me know in the comments below which brand of OCP that you're currently taking. Number three, causes dry skin. Now, what I didn't explain earlier is that hormones that regulate acne also regulates the amount of sebum your skin produces. So when you're on OCPs, primarily when you're on an estrogen progesterone pill, what happens is the amount of sebum being produced by your skin actually significantly reduces. That means that over a long period of time, your skin is going to get more and more dry. So one way is to actually prevent this is by using a hydrating skincare range or even stopping your current oral contraceptive pills and changing it to another one which does not cause you dry skin. And number four, since it does cause dry skin, OCP increases the risk of eczema and dermatitis. Now what happens when your skin becomes overly dry, the skin barrier over the top of your skin starts to crack and then there is transepidermal water loss. It is a fancy term of saying that your skin gets severely dehydrated and that can give rise to eczema or atopic dermatitis, especially in people that are in, at risk of eczema and dermatitis. So if you're someone that has very sensitive skin and at the same time, you might have something like an asthma, so you might want to avoid OCPs because they can cause skin irritation and make your eczema much worse. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a video short and sweet to teach you to, or to educate you about the effects of contraceptive pills on your skin. Now, OCP is still one of the best ways of family planning and as well as 
to prevent pregnancy. So please consult your doctor to see which OCP is right for you. Now, if you found this video engaging and informative, please click the like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. Now, that's it for me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.